To promote economic empowerment, FEMAP helps women get started as small-scale entrepreneurs, making and selling food items, household goods, and crafts. A bank lends seed money, and FEMAP handles the reimbursements and offers advice on how to build and maintain businesses. These women repay their loans at payback rates comparable to those of well-established customers. is the pollution created by burning the brick with tires and with dirty oil it, that causes a lot of pollution. You can see over there that black smoke comes from burning with tires. For centuries, the clay around Juarez has been recognized as ideal for brick making, which today is one of Juarez's biggest industries. It's also one of its dirtiest. In recent decades, brickmakers have fired their kilns by burning rubber or sawdust. Each pollutes the air and is a threat to the brickworker's health. Now, thanks to FEMAP, these brickmakers are converting to natural gas or solar energy. Managers and laborers are coming from all over Mexico to this facility to learn the new techniques. This is one of FEMAP's efforts to clean the environment and provide job training in the process. the border school so all the people from Mexico who would like to come to learn to make bricks without contaminating the environment can come and stay here for a week. During the morning they are going to have all the theory and during the afternoon they are going to work making bricks. Well the first objective of, of the project was to clean the air of quarries. Uh, the contamination or the pollution of because of the bricks, of the baking of the brick was the second... Of Removing the, the moisture from the bricks before they were fired required more fuel than the actual baking. Now a simple age-old method, drying the moist bricks in the sun, is being used. Natural gas is used in the kiln, entering from the lower holes on the sides. Here in Juarez we have around 400 ovens, kilns, and in Puebla, they have 2,200 ovens where they make ceramics and bricks and tile and other kind of things. No, no se puede batir. Es muy, muy duro. Es muy difícil. Cuando está uno batiendo para un mismo día, se pega en el asadón y tiene uno que estarlo a limpiar y limpiar la cera. When we start the project, the, the average uh, brick maker makes about 300 pesos a month. Uh, in order to have 300 pesos of income a month, they have to produce almost 12,000 brick, bricks per month. Productivity has increased tremendously with the new drying techniques. Beyond the brickworks, clinic, and micro-entrepreneurship efforts, 700 local volunteers work with FEMAP as health promoters, visiting neighbors, giving advice and supplies for family planning, helping young children and adults prevent childhood illnesses, drug abuse, and AIDS. Thank you. 